Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living on the bench. Thought I'd show you a bit of a easy way of getting these electric ballasts apart. Like you've got all the little transformers and stuff in there anyway. And that's what we're here for. And we'll be doing a video also combined with these magnetic motors. I don't know what permanent motors I think they call them. But anyway, what do I do with these? You get straight back into this, pull all that crap apart, go into the shred pile, peel your plastic off. Don't often wear gloves, but I thought I'd wear them today. Peel all that out, get that out of there, that goes into the trash. Now, as you can see, you've got extruded aluminium, another one there, little transformer, little transformer. Another little one there, another one there. Now, I put them in if they're not too hard to pull apart. I usually do pull them apart if they've got a fair bit of thick windings. That one there looks like you may have. But what I, I've got a little technique that goes in strips. Little technique. Air chisel. With these, go straight down. That, that's why that one didn't work. Okay, we found that out straight away. Straight down the side. Just comes off so easy. There it is there. Same as your extruded. Pops off. It's on the low setting. Done. Oh, no, I missed one. Look at that. Missed one. But you can pull them off with pliers. Then I'll put that into the shred. I don't try and save circuit boards. They just go in the shred. But all of this, and now all I've got to do is grab the screwdriver, the battery upright one. Pull that off there. Oops. Holding down. I'll put that in the vise. The vise is just beside me here. I know you just can't see that. screws out and it just falls out so simple these things this is where the gloves get in the road these things are copper but I still don't save those either they go in the shred and with all these this one here will pull apart because it's got a lot of fair bit of windings in there now we with these ones here that one there, I think he's a metal one. Got to take the gloves off to find out, because I can't see. With the glove on, the gloves change, taking over everything. But let's give that a hit. Tom, throw them away, they're in the road. Thought I'd be able to do it with gloves, no. There we go, can't do things with gloves. Now that's so simple, then all I do is I get to, with a pair of scissors, scissors are good enough for cutting this, or a pair of shears, straight through there. Never use a grinder on these ones, because it just buggers them up. I leave the paper and everything on there, the plastic, that sort of thing, that way you can get it as number two copper. Anyway, that ferrite stuff goes straight into the shred. Get this all apart while we're here. That's the way that was supposed to be within the first one. Yeah, I just don't bother with all these little resistors and stuff like that. Too tedious. That's the extruded aluminium. That one there, he'll get done. Best hammer I've ever found. <laughs> They're the good ones, ones you find. Go that way, that over that way. That one there, he's a bit tedious, but he can be done too. Just give it a, give it a hit. Now I've been searching on the good old web, YouTube, all that sort of thing, for people that have done these motors out of washing machines, that sort of thing permanent magnet washing machine motors. Um, 
there's only one that I found that he was doing um, an unwinding of it. Now, I thought, I'm doing a lot of those. I thought, well, there is another way. And instead of taking, he, he did state, look, this is a five, five month video back, uh, that it took him about half an hour to unwind it. Now that's, that's this type. Um, this is an aluminium one. So I'll give you as a demonstration on how I do this. And it's not with the air chisel either. You probably could, I haven't tried it, but that's just, you know, one little insight. We'll set this stuff aside. Clean our bench off. And it goes the same for the little copper ones like this. So I've got two of them here. I've already started, as you can probably notice there, that I did start with one. The only thing is you get a lot of plastic with it. As you can see in there, there's a fair bit of plastic. So, but you know, it still goes through as copper. Uh, these ones here, they've got the windings on the back where it meets up one to three, and then three to six and further down the line, because you, your windings go from here to there to there, there's always, it always jumps three from the first one you start at. And I've already got two and undone the points where the wires connect. So what I do, instead of starting on this side where the wires are all wound, I go on the opposite side. Now I don't get to and unwind none of this. I use the good old grinder. So bear the noise and we'll get to cut all this off and I'll show you how it actually gets all taken off. Oh, before I start, before I start with the grinder, um, what I do do, I did forget this, that on every piece here, I actually get to, to save a lot of the plastic, point of the hammer, take off. This is just an aluminium one, just a dim, just to show you what I do with these, it doesn't have Oh, there, we're falling on you all. There we go. We'll prop his back there. Done. Done. Now we use the grinder. Look at that, there's already one off. Now what we'll do with that is we'll put it in a tub so we don't lose it. Then over here. Now 
now I reckon that only took about two minutes. Pick up all your little strands. You've got left there that stud come out. It's all money. A lot of people don't like doing the aluminium ones, but we do them. So all I do now is I turn that upside down, get the screwdriver in there and pull it out. Go down the side if you have to. You can do these this with the copper ones as well. Just put it in a tub. That's one lot done. Sometimes you can get a whole heap. I find doing it this way is a lot quicker. Instead of being, say, half an hour sitting there unwinding, being therapeutical, no. I'm not the therapeutical type. I like to get things done, get it dusted and get it out of the road. So I thought I'd just do this one for you all. Well. Just to show you how things can be done quicker. That's a whole heap done gone. Um, yeah, so I did hear that he was mentioning Big Country Scrapper. Now I think, not sure, I have to go through my subscribers. I think he's one of my subscribers. So if you are watching, you can do this with Big Crunch Scrap if, you, if you've got your copper motors out of your magnet ones for your washing machines, you can do it this way. That's three done so far. Three down. 40 odd to go, I think there is. I don't know whether there's 40. Might be 30. But it is pretty quick. Just need a small screwdriver. Like a little one. I'm using a metal blade. Not one of those emery ones. So I'm not producing any emery dust. I prefer to use one of those on these. You do get a bit of plastic, like I was saying earlier. But you can see it's just coming out so ever so easy. Any strands you leave behind, you can go back and pluck them out. Doesn't matter if they're aluminium. You can always put it in your normal aluminium. Let that add up. And I'll do a demonstration on one of the copper ones as well. Show you how we do those. It's pretty much the same way. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's just falling out. You don't have to wind it up, nothing. Yes, it looks nice and all wound up and that sort of thing. But this is how we do most of our motors and stuff. I've got our log splitter beside me here. Um, we split them as well. We use the splitter and pull them apart. We'll do some modifications to it. Sort of breaking it, really. <laughs> Overuse, probably. How many are we done? We're just about halfway round. So if you are doing your motors out of washing machines, this is the easy way. No dust required. Even 
even though it's only an aluminium one, it doesn't matter. I like my aluminium. There's money there to be made. Probably hear a couple of washing machines in the background I'm testing out. Picked up a few in my last pickups. So I thought oh, I'll chuck them on while I'm doing this. I do test them before I pull them apart. We're over halfway now. Probably only take about 15 minutes to get it done. I don't know. I'm only guessing at the moment. I'm not timing myself. I've never actually timed myself how long it takes. But, you know, time is money they say. That's what I was told. Got a few stragglers back here. Get those. Quick and easy process. Getting onto the home stretch. Actually, talking about unwinding it, June started out unwinding it, and then she just got the grind, she got cranky with it, and just said, I'm doing this the easy way. And I showed her the easy way. She wanted to do it the hard way first, you know, unwinding it. It was just taking too long, so she just got the grinder. So we've been doing them this way ever since. Sometimes you'll only find an occasional aluminium one. Not all the time. Been very lucky on some of them where they're all copper. We get most of our scrap out of washing machines, dishwashers, that sort of thing. So anything that's not working, because as you can, as I said, we're testing them in the background. If anything that's not working, it comes up with a code. I try to fix it. If I can't fix it, it gets pulled apart. Aluminium. That could be copper. Just imagine. Still getting good prices for aluminium though. matter going back picking the stragglers out
It's always handy to be hands on. Feel what you're feeling. All right, what have we got? Four to go. Three to go. That's how quick it can be. Once you've cut it, it's so quick. It's a matter of going back and picking the stragglers out. That's all. Come here, you. Got no more back there. That one there. Just got to try and get them from way up top. One to go. That's that. Stragglers, get them. And that's it. So simple. You're left with your steel and a bit of plastic. Oh, we've got a couple of stragglers down here. It's always handy to check twice. Done. Done like a dinner. Sweet. Industry. Down there, and you're left with that. Right, now we do the same like that with these. So I'll go and empty that out where it belongs. We'll get stuck into those two. These may be quicker, but this is the blade I'm using. It was an old one that I found. Um, give it a bit of a polish up. And it seems to work all right. So with all your terminals on the back, I don't worry about them. You can pull them off. They are brass and that sort of thing. But I don't worry or bother about it. But this one here, I will. Because it's actually holding a piece of copper wire. So the more you can pull out, the better it can be. What well, makes life a little easier for yourselves. Um, might be just as easy to give them a snipperoo. Give them their good old snipperoo. That one. It's usually four. That washing machine's finished. Come here, tub. Got some, there we go, we've got some there. Now we cut this side, we don't cut the other side, but it doesn't really matter with this one. Yeah, we'll cut that side. Okay, bit of noise.
pick up your stragglers. Throw them in the bucket. Put them all in there. I could have done it straight in there, I suppose. Now all we've got to do is turn them over. Pull it out. The fun part. The glorious part. This is why I put them in a tub, because otherwise that'd go everywhere. And you can empty your tub where you've you got your stash. These ones are copper. Don't know how copper prices are going at the moment. Hope everyone's seen my big scrap run. The big payout. Let us know in the comments if you did. Say yes or no. In the comments. And if you're not subscribed and you're just watching, that's alright. Leave a comment saying you're not subscribed. Just say you're enjoying the content. Quite obliged to do that. But if you're not subscribed, you're not going to get notified when we put a new video out though. So it's best to be subscribed. You never know what we could put out. Even though we're not doing our cans anymore, we're still getting some. Not getting many, but we still get them. There will be a video of that, of us actually getting, uh, uh, putting them through the machine soon. Uh, we're accumulating just as much, you know, from where we are here. So, uh, and from dumpster diving and that sort of thing, from where we've been. Because I can only do a bit of dumpster diving of the night time. I currently work and live here, so... That's the main reason why I had to give it up. If that answers anyone's questions. No days off. 24-7 here. If you someone coming in for a camp, you got to let them in. This one's been stubborn. Why are you being stubborn? There we go. Cut right through. These smaller ones are usually a bit more tedious. But it still doesn't take long at all. Alright, we'll get to and cut that wire off there later. Last one on this one. If you're worried about time, this is the best way of doing them, I find. As usually I haven't got much time to be doing much around here. Always working, so try to find a shortcut. If you can find a shortcut to do life, I'd be living it. You never shortcut anything, you'd miss out. But anyway, that's that one done. Get that last strand. And that's a nice little bit of copper there. Look at that. That's just out of that one. Get that last strand. Every strand counts, and that's all empty. Doesn't take long to do them. Push that up to there. And get this one done. Bit of plastic there. Pull your strands up. This is why you cut the opposite side of where it's wound. You can just pull your strands out. And go for hell for leather. Just gotta watch your hands. Especially if no gloves are wearing. That's me. I have had, or oh, when I was young, a uh, screwdriver hanging out my hand like that not good star screwdriver well, I went to the hospital and all I done was pulled the, pulled it out said now go home I thought what the hell <laughs> it healed up 
I can still feel where it used to be though, in the left hand. I usually damage my left hand more than my right, because my right hand's doing all the work, all the time. Struggle, struggle here. This is where I didn't punch that plastic off and it's breaking off. So we'll have to do a pick out of all the plastic. So it's best to knock all that plastic off, all that hard plastic off first before you start cutting anything. These had to be done, so I thought I'd just, you know, pop on, show you how we do it. Like I've done, what, an aluminium one and two copper. In a short amount of time. Okay, no fault so far with those. Two wash machines. I go through and test it on every single cycle. With clothes in there, that sort of thing, if they come up with a fault, you know, sometimes they're out of balance or something like that. If they're out of balance, I can't really fix the balance rings. They're two top loaders that I'm testing. One's a Fisher and Pike, or I think the other one's a Simpson. So if you do do washing machines and you're picking them up in your scrap pickups, take them home. Plug them in. See if they do a spin cycle. If they do a spin cycle, put a bit of water into them. Plug the hoses in if you've got the hoses. Hoses are only about $30 if you haven't got them. But usually they're throwing them away with them anyway. Strangely enough. I've got abundance of hoses that's laying around here. It's unbelievable. Better see if I'm plucking that from the bottom. No, it's not. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six to go. And it's stragglers. Right hand starting to go numb, shoulders are going numb from being so close together. I haven't seen a different way to do these and I've always done it this way. I started unwinding it myself. Quick and easy. But if anyone's got a uh, easier way of them unwinding, let us know in the comments. Drop a link in the comments. Quite willing to go and watch it. I right, just haven't found one on YouTube. Oh, the hand's going numb. Pins and needles. Two to go.
They've only got a little bit of plastic in here, which is fine. They do accept a little bit of plastic, not much. Because they class this with the resin on it. It has got a little bit of touch of resin on it. bottom release the from the plastic everyone has different ways this is our way no one shows us so I'm trying to show everyone what we do that's all it is Giving you all of our experience. Take me a little bit longer over here because my hands are going numb. Well, my right hand anyway. If you've got someone young and healthy, who haven't had an accident in their past, tell you what, it'd be handy because you can see my thing. <laughs> I can't even get the screwdriver in there. I'm shaking. Anyway. That's that one. Shake the remains yet. Little bits there. Gotta get every skerrick. It's worth every dime. Simple as it's all gone. Both sides. And that's what we've got out of those two little ones. Not too bad, not too shabby. But anyway, we've still got a fair bit to do. One me and my glasses. So if you've come this far in this video, everyone, and you like how I've done all of that, and this is where we put a lot of stuff into a tub, then we cart it out. We put it in tubs, so that way we can put it in its designated locations, like I'm still testing these two washing machines over here. Um, these are the ones that were going while we were recording. So we'll put them back on, go to the next setting, leave it as it is, press start. We've got clothes in there. Always handy to have clothes in there, get this one going. And we'll go, I think I've done premium press, we'll go wool next. I don't change any of the settings, I just press start. We've got clothes in there as well. So that's how I do a lot of testing. This one up here, I'm going to do a video on. It has a, has a problem. Um, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose how to fix it on that one. Um, so yeah, but anyway, if you've come this far in the video, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping definitely scrapping now and I'll see you in the next one cheerio